Hi guys, my name is Alex Brown and I'm part of the team that developed Humble. Uh, so Humble is a client-side MVC framework that you can use to write web applications that run in your browser. Uh, and the way it works is that you write an application in pure Go and we use a tool called Go4JS to compile it into JavaScript. Um, so over the course of the hackathon we built a version, uh, the first version of the Humble framework and then we used our own framework to develop an example application um, some of you might be familiar with this, this is uh, the to-do MVC application. Um, so basically you can just keep a list of to-dos um, and I'll, I'll just show you that it works. Um, you can mark items as completed, um, you can uh, filter by active and completed, um, you can toggle all, uh, do things like that. Um, you can remove items, uh, add new items, um, and keep in mind that all the code that's making this happen is written in Go. Um, so I'll just quickly talk about some of the elements of uh, the code that we wrote, um, why we designed things the way that we did, and why we think it might be powerful. Um, so the main part of, uh, well, the entry point of Humble is uh, a router. Um, so basically you just have a router that responds to uh, hash events and then renders something on the page. Um, so in our to-do MVC application, um, we're setting up a router, um, responding to three different routes, uh, the home route, uh, active, and completed. Um, and so what happens is when you click these different links, um, it's changing the hash, and uh, it runs some code to update the view. Um, we have two other uh, major abstractions in the Humble framework. Um, we have a model and a view. And uh, both of these are just interfaces, um, which make, means um, you can do uh, some really flexible and really powerful things. Um, we designed it this way to sort of uh, take advantage of some of Go's strengths. Um, and uh, sort of keep it idiomatic. Um, so uh, if you have uh, some type that's implementing the model interface, um, then you can use um, these methods, um, read all, delete, uh, create, um, update, there's a couple more. Um, you can use these methods to easily interact with the RESTful server. Uh, now typical, typically a to-do MVC application will just store uh, all the to-dos in memory. Um, but since we set up this CRUD, uh, we really wanted to show off the strength of the Humble framework. Um, so all this is actually happening um, in a backend. So um, whenever you create a new to-do, it sends it to a server that we're running in the background, uh, which is also written in Go. Um, same thing whenever you update a to-do um, or, or uh, mark them as complete, things like that. Um, so in our to-do MVC uh, application that we wrote, um, here's just one example of how we use uh, the Humble framework to uh, get all the to-dos when we're loading in the application. Uh, it's a very simple read-all call and we use reflection to inspect uh, the slice, uh, fill in the fields, and then continue on from there by rendering the to-dos on the screen. Uh, the last abstraction that I'm going to talk about is the view. Um, and like I said, a view is also just another interface. Um, the idea is that if you implement these methods, um, you can use some humble functions to do cool things with your view. Um, the most important one is this render HTML method. Um, so currently Humble is uh, template language agnostic, um, so you can use whatever templating language you want. Um, you can write your own in Go, you can try to link up with a JavaScript library like handlebars or something like that. Um, and if you have this render HTML method, uh, Humble will figure out how to insert your views into the DOM, um, update the views whenever there are changes, and remove them by deleting the element from the DOM. Um, so to do MVC, um, I'll just show you the entry level code where we're setting up our app view, um, which is basically this entire framework, everything inside the box. Um, and we're setting um, basically the HTML of the body um, to our app view. Um, views have this onload method, um, which if you implement will be called whenever the view is added to the DOM. Um, so basically we're just iterating through um, setting up some um, setting up some listeners, uh, adding some child views, uh, doing things like that. Um, and then I'll show one more thing, which is um, we have this listener on, uh, you know, to see when the destroy button is clicked. So that's this, um, that's this X over here. And when destroy is clicked, um, we're gonna call uh, this remove method, um, which will remove the, the views element from the DOM uh, send a delete request to our server so it persists, and then uh, update the parent view. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, for the near future, we plan to keep working on Humble. Uh, we want to add things like data binding um, and sort of improve the code um, in other ways too. Um, but thank you.